I, I won't keep you any longer. Uh, I'm, it's a great privilege and a pleasure for me to welcome uh, you and introduce you to some of the newest members of the Stellantis family. Thank you. After three years, the third largest OEM in the world. We operate in 50 countries and have 270,000. And what I think a lot of people don't really understand is within Stellantis, we own 14 different brands. And of those 14, seven, in fact, if you look at it, if you treat Abarth as a separate brand, we actually have eight. So in South Africa, we have the ones that you obviously know about, Peugeot, Citroen, Opel, uh, Alfa Romeo, uh, Fiat, Jeep, um, Maserati is, is part of the, the Stellantis family as well. We're not directly doing it in Abarth. Um, all of them globally very iconic brands and obviously been around a lot longer than the three years of Stellantis. We'll move towards from about from June onwards to Stellantis dealership. So you'll walk into a Stellantis dealership, all six brands seven brands will be available there. We will rationalize the product to ensure that we continue with a very strong coverage in all the segments of the market. As we all know, 60% of all vehicles sold in South Africa are below 400,000. Over the next year, we will, bring, we will cover that with three new ranges of Citroen in that market um, with a number of different end items. We'll, Brian will be telling you part of that going forward. But we will make sure that we continue to offer the journey from the 200 plus all the way up to over 2 million. So, but there will be rationalization and the brands will not be competing directly with each other. A big part of our um, plan going forward, <coughs> it's already implemented, obviously, is the focus on the aftermarket. And her son, um, who's recently joined us as our aftermarket uh, director, We'll be telling you a little bit of what we're doing there. We have just finished consolidating into a new parts warehouse. And very importantly for us, um, and as I said, Stellantis globally is only three years old. In South Africa, Stellantis has only been together as Stellantis for approximately 18 months. Before that, it was split up into a number of different uh, individual brands and businesses. So we've also just finished the consolidation point, and part of that is we consolidated all our aftermarket warehouses and a very strong focus and commitment going forward to ensure that we can get back and earn that trust that we believe that we should and are delivering to the customer. And then lastly, a big part of it is the industrialization, uh, which, which I'll touch on just now. Beginning of 26, the initial volume will be 50,000. We'll focus on pickups. Um, and the pickup range will obviously expand at that point of time and the plant is scalable up to 90,000 and more importantly for us is that 60% will be exported and the export target markets for that is obviously in within the region so uh, Middle East is a very key destination. Joined by a good old friend Scott Seed from Stellantis. Scott, so good to see you for a change. You too. Yeah, yeah, great absolutely. to have you with us. Thank you. Thank you. Scott, besides all the activity and the fun we've been having today, you guys showed us a sneak peek of five new cars that you're launching this year. Absolutely. Um, yeah. So we wanted to share, obviously, we know Stellantis has been very busy over the last couple of years, a little bit of a quiet period, mm. uh, and a couple of months with, with no launches, but we've got a lot saved up for the second half of the year, some very exciting new cars some new technologies, something people have been waiting for. And uh, as you said, this was just a couple of them. There were still more ones that we couldn't even show you. Uh, ah, yeah, ah, <laughs> that's ah, in the next But I mean, you but, did a yeah. big curtain drop in the whole thing for us just now. 
So let's just sneak let's up have a here look, yeah. and have a look what's here. And I'm greeted by what better than a Wrangler? Jeep yeah. Wrangler. This is the new one, eh? This is the new one. Obviously, the Jeep brand, yeah. Jeep brand, an iconic car, the Wrangler, an iconic model, instantly recognizable. Some of the big changes are on the model that we have right. and the new one coming is a new drivetrain, new engine, two liter turbo, uh, but still having the same power and torque, uh, in fact, more torque than the outgoing okay. V6. Yeah. Yeah. So obviously, a lot of people considering how mm. uh, you lose the power of a V6 or that, but no, not <laughs> the case. But a lot more fuel efficient. I was going to say, you, you gave a figure of 8.5, eh? 8 as 8 an overall average, figure, yeah. 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 And, and mm -hmm. of course, importantly, up at the reef, you're not losing 14 to 15% of power Correct. with the altitude. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a lighter drivetrain mm -hmm. for okay. drivability. You'll actually feel a lot more per performance up at the reef. Yeah. So just a, a bit of a more balanced package and all around. Off-road won't affect it all. Off-road won't yeah. be affected at Still all. Still got all the same hardware, exactly. the same quadra mm. tracks and all the rest yeah. that you get yeah. on, a, on a Wrangler. Yeah. And, and mm. I mean, that's a big major part, but obviously linked with that, we've done yeah. some further updates to the interior okay. as well. Right. Can, we, some, can uh, we pop the door open? The entertainment system. Yeah. You'll have a look. Okay. Well, I can see. Look at that screen yeah. already. Wow. Okay. So you say, uh, yeah. and the one we're showing here is, uh, the sport model, mm -hmm. so this okay. isn't even the top of the range uh, Rubicon, yeah. okay. uh, which will show later at the launch, and that's got even a couple more surprises that uh, some things people have been interested to have and see. So. Uh, the removable roof panels, same as always. Will you be able window, to get the electric windows, roof doors. panel. Uh, uh, on this one? Yes, it is on the cards, okay. and I plan that with the facelift yeah. model, yeah. we'll have the. Okay, but hang on, Colin, button. just bring in this something <coughs> that I see you have retained. Thank goodness, <laughs> you know what that is, something that you you market only for me, because let's be honest. Even though it is capable, how many of these go off-road and use the low range, etc.? Not often, right? Not often. So do you know what that second gear lever is actually there for? Fun. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not. Makes the perfect hat stand for me when I'm driving. Do you know that? And ah, I thank Jeep for thinking <laughs> of me and of Motor Matters. So thanks for keeping that as an extra. Right, should we move on? Move on. What's Next. behind you? <coughs> okay, we're going more basic now, right? In a way. Yeah, going to the uh, other end of the spectrum yeah. from luxury adventure to, right. yeah. let's say, utilitarian um, and more fleet-based mm. use of right. workhorse. Yeah. Um, as we anticipated, look, when we, when we entered the uh, Bucky market, yeah. if you want to call it in South Africa, with the land track, we mm. did anticipate at the time we will expand the range. We'll take our time, take some learnings and that. Uh, yeah. Long anticipated the single, single cab, cab version. Yeah. Uh, powered by the familiar 7.9 7 engine we have, kilowatt engine, yeah. but made it to a manual gearbox, mm -hmm. six-speed manual gearbox. Okay. Um, key advantages: mm -hmm. so it's a nice high rider. It's got obviously mm -hmm. your normal features, your aircon. So it's two-wheel drive. Windows. It's not four-wheel drive. Yeah. Two-two-wheel drive. Okay. Um, Are you going to bring a four-wheel drive in the single? Cab? Um, not in the short term. Mm -hmm. So in the short term, it will just okay. be the four. Now this is also linked to, of course, you getting the factory going, yes. which is going to manufacture these. <coughs> Now, right. you, you're looking at manufacturing, what, 60,000 a year? Uh, about 50,000 50,000, yeah, yeah, yeah. And of that 40% uh, local, yeah, so expanding the range is important. Absolutely. You know, not just mm. the two and, uh, top-end uh, double cabs. Uh, as we've seen, it goes, we've got a, a fleet version of the double cab as well. So Correct. there'll be this single yeah. cab version linked to a double mm. cab version as well. So, so it's expanding expand the, range the market by for a you couple guys, of yeah. models, expanding the, the range. Yeah. Okay, now, 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 just because they're in this order, I would have yes. actually left this one for last but let's just look at this the scorpion the sting in the tail eh? uh, scott a fiat 500. a fiat 500, a fiat 500 the, except it's an above 500. exactly yeah. so you've got the little <coughs> body kit on it you can see the little skirts mm. you've got the abath you've got even the scorpion over there what fascinated me i've got to tell you although it's standard i know is i love these the little eyebrows. The little eyebrows, yes. The eyebrows. But now, and of course the front spoiler. Let's have a look at the interior quickly. Just come check this out. Because this is sporty as anything. But, 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 this is not just an Abarth, is it? No, it's not just the Abarth. It's the new range from the Fiat 500. Yeah. Fully electric. Yeah. So fully battery electric vehicle. Right. Um, and little things Abarth does differently, again for fun. Mm. A lot of people, okay, you have a nice, quiet drive and electric car things. Airbath, we still want to make some noise and have some fun. 
and you've got a sound generator with a car that actually plays on the outside. Okay. <laughs> so, so the above version is just going to be that different, right? It's going to be that different. As you say, completely redesigned dash interior, what? Uh, retaining, but retaining the essences and the heritage mm. of the Abarth. Abarth. You've, you've got specific tune suspension. What kilowatts, what kilowatts are we talking about? Ah, but that would be giving it away. Oh, come on. <laughs> Can't you give me a clue? Uh, let's just say, uh, be, give you a range of, yeah? say, between uh, 110 and 130. Okay, okay. As an but electric car, obviously. Instant. So it's instant power yeah, from yeah. there. Um, mm. It's a small car, you've got, let, let's just also say, uh, a third of a ton range. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm not giving away too many yeah, specifics yeah. before the okay. time. Uh, now, of course, you wouldn't be bringing the Abarth in if you weren't bringing its, can I call it its baby brother? Its baby brother, baby yeah. sister, depending on your inclination. Okay, you yeah, but, uh, absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the basis that the Abarth mm. starts off. As, as we know, the Abarth is based off, I mean, the, the body is built in the same factory, starts from there. Correct, yeah. But then goes to the dedicated facility mm. for Abarth with a add all the special fun bits on. Well, you can also see, can the see the slightly family. more conservative interior. Mm. Can I call it that? <coughs> plush, yeah. because 500 is always yeah. plush. Mm. But it, it's a bit more conservative. Mm. But it's mm. typical 500. Yes. But now this will be your first electric This will be in the, the first Stellantis full range, electric right? of the Stellantis yeah. range. Okay. Yeah. Any idea on pricing yet? Uh, there is, but obviously, mm. as you say, because it's uh, a bit yeah. Down the line and mm. uh, some you got to drop, me, you got to drop something here. Yeah, come on. You've got to <laughs> give us some little gem. Mm. Is it going to be the cheapest electric in South Africa? No. Not. No. Okay. It's, uh, mm. A Fiat 500 will never be the cheapest yeah. car in its okay. A Fiat 500 is uh, things we've spoken about. It, it's style, it's chic, it's personality. Mm. Yeah. It is, it's not a car that's designed for... Um, a budget, mm. if you want to no, no, call, no, call it that. Not, yeah. uh, people don't mm. purchase a Fiat 500 mm. uh, for a price. It's a, it's a personality, a lifestyle, mm. now, a, question uh, for you. Uh, a quality mm. that they want. Are you going to bring the convertible as well in, in the electric? Yes, we will, most certainly. Now, won't that be the first convertible electric? It could be by the time we launch. It could yeah? be. Ah, that's, okay. the, that's the I mean, you brought the up plan, the first convertible can. SUV <coughs> with the uh, 500X. With the extended with the, yeah, roof yeah. convertible SUV. So why not be the first the convertible the electric? Yeah. So mean, that's the plan. Obviously, need to do these things. you can do it. Yeah, do something differently. <laughs> and now, in the Wrangler, it will be as well with the folding yeah. top. <laughs> Shall be really corny. And so, of course, so we got to come look at this one. <laughs> yes, we showed you the teaser ad already. <laughs> you did. <laughs> yes. So uh, one one of the other updates coming yeah. is the facelifted Corsa range. Okay. Uh, I mean, obviously, it's a fairly new vehicle, mm. uh, so it didn't require a lot of signing updates to keep it fresh. No, but, it, this but it's looks uh, sleek and good. Looks really. sleek, good. The yep. lighting, mm. it's uh, updating mm. it to bring yeah. it in line with the new, if you want to call it, Opal Visor look and okay. family. Okay, yeah. Like we saw in the Mokka. Mm -hmm. And we're talking mm. the 96 kilowatt engine? The 96 kilowatt with the six speed uh, torque converter automatic. Yeah. Um, obviously, the, the, this would be like the. the GS line trim level, so you've got the metallic, nice metallic. If you can yeah. see the sun catching the roof right. there with the yeah. two tone black roof for the with nice meta metallic. Yeah. Uh, metallic and look, <coughs> South Africa Corsa, it's history, right? Yes. Uh, yeah, of all your models currently, this one's probably got the most heritage in South Africa. Yes, absolutely. So Corsa is a big deal to you guys. It is. The Cor Corsa is obviously really a, a mainstay of Stellantis and, yeah. and especially for. Uh, uh, Opal mm. brand. Mm. Um, I mean, you, you've probably got as a Jeep Wrangler and Opal Corsa the two most recognizable nameplates in our country. When you're saying them, everybody knows what you're talking 100%, about. Yeah, hundred percent agree with you. So you've got this coming as well. Now I think this is going to be the first one. Very this soon. will be the first one yeah. very soon in the next okay. short term. Uh, right. Unfortunately, the others we have to wait a little bit longer to the second half of the year. Okay. Uh, but uh, we, we felt it important to share with everybody. Just some exciting news and show what's coming. And it's good to know what's coming. Obviously, I mean, I've tried to get a little bit yeah. of the secrets <laughs> out of you along the way. But I'm, I'm <coughs> hoping and fairly sure I'll be at most of these launches. I'm so most sure you'll. Uh, hopefully, you'll get to see them pretty early on from us. Okay. In the meantime, Scott. Thank okay, you. Good to see you again. For, let me get this right. For change cars, for all things motoring, and for Motor Matters, he's Scott Seed. I'm Alan R. And we'll see you next time. When you come back afterwards. 
So of course, thanks very much, uh, Mike Hassan. We're here today to do a couple of things. So a couple of reasons why we're here today. I want to just outline them very quickly. I think it's been a, a while since we've had an opportunity to get together. We, we, we've, uh, last year we did it a couple of times. We've been remiss perhaps in the, in the first quarter. We thought it was very important to reconnect with some of you guys. Uh, we were getting withdrawal symptoms. We wanted to just have that opportunity once again to engage. Uh, so we took this opportunity. What we're going to do today is, is two things. We're going to give you an opportunity to drive our current range in obviously a safe and controlled environment. So we have some great activities planned with our current product. Uh, yes, there will be some prizes at the end of the day, some token prizes uh, on one of the activities in particular. We also have an opportunity to drive the cars uh, off-road and on-road. And then we wanted to give you a glimpse or a preview of what's coming for the balance of 2024 for Stellantis South Africa. So we're going to do that uh, directly afterwards. And then you saw that we'd be wrapped up by just after lunch. So we wanted to highlight again, I think, and showcase, notwithstanding the rationalization, the, the breadth and the depth of the Stellantis range, Stellantis product range. Uh, I'm going to run through a couple of products, giving you what our current range is, looking at what our future range is going to look like, uh, talking about what our launch strategy will be, when our launch timing will be, etc. So Stellantis is made up, as Mike said, we represent, Stellantis South Africa represents and imports seven brands from a local context. We have uh, some storied history amongst some of those brands, and I think none more storied certainly than Alfa Romeo, uh, and we had an opportunity uh, during the course of last year to talk about Alfa Romeo, but I want to remind you what Alfa Romeo stands for, what the brand stands for, what the brand pillars are of the brand. Those three pillars that you see on the screen, obviously Italian, first and foremost, Alfa Romeo is an Italian brand and remains an Italian brand, notwithstanding Stellantis is an overarching. The overall is always greater than the sum of the parts, but Alfa Romeo is and remains an Italian brand. Sporty, of course, Alpha well known for its sporty cars, whether standing still or driving, uh, Alpha is a driving experience. And Rosso or red, synonymous really with the Alfa Romeo brand is the color red. So what's in the Alpha DNA, what has been in the Alpha DNA, what the Alpha history is, will remain. Alpha will always be what it has always been, absolute symbol uh, of Italian sportiness. Uh, and will remain that way into the future. So our current model lineup, as a quick reminder, we start the range with uh, Alfa Romeo with Tonale. Uh, talk about Tonale in a second. Then we have Giulia, but only Quadrifoglio and only on special order. Uh, we have Stelvio range as well, still current. So Stelvio Veloce uh, and Stelvio Q, Quadrifoglio, also on special order only. Uh, I can tell you that the allocations for this year are largely already full. So uh, orders that will be coming through, any cars that will be coming through, uh, there's only a couple of opportunities left for prospective customers for QVs and Qs in 2024. Looking back at Tonale, we, we launched Tonale a couple of years ago. Tonale very much part of the Alpha uh, DNA in terms of its uh, sporty design, Italian design. Uh, of course, as well, the first hybrid in our range, first hybrid in the Stellantis South Africa range, the Tonale pricing starting from 787 up to 868 for the two versions. Uh, and retains an authentic driving experience. If you haven't had the opportunity to drive one, we do have uh, Donales to drive today on the ride and handling track. Stelvio, of course, also remains a big part of our Alpha range. Uh, also absolutely undeniably distinctive and Italian in design. With the uh, perfect weight distribution, the 50-50 weight distribution, the Alpha Link suspension, uh, and of course the Alpha DNA as well, inherent in the Stelvio, not just the Q, but in the Veloce as well. So carrying on with the brand history, Mike mentioned some of our history and you know St Stellantis brands have a, have a huge history, a huge amount of history collectively. So much so in fact that Peugeot had our oldest brand just over 213 years this year. Jeep in fact is our youngest brand and I say that youngest because Jeep is more than 80 years old. So our brands have, South African brands collectively have over 600 years of, of shared history. Uh, Jeep as the youngest has an iconic 80 year history and really um, synonymous I think Jeep retaining its authenticity, retaining its elements of freedom uh, needs really no further introduction in terms of heritage. Hello my name is Michael I'm the owner of Change Cars 
and the host of the TV show All Things Motoring. I have one mission and that is to make a difference to the motoring public. Making a difference how? Making sure that you have safe options, making sure that you have knowledge. In that regard, it is my absolute pleasure and privilege to work with Alan Rosenmeyer of Motor Matters. The man with a hat, I'm the man with no hat, he's the man with the knowledge. Thank you for watching.